Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the last airdrop on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I went through the process of airdropping myself a PDF and an image, and I'll show you how to basically find those. Let's swipe over and go to the app library, and we're just gonna open up the files app here. So you can see I'm in the files app. If you don't see that, just go to the app store and download and install it. It's an Apple app. Now that we are on here, if you got airdropped anything that is not an image or a video, it got dumped into the files app. So let's hit on my iPhone and then downloads. Now you'll be able to see here is that dummy PDF that I can tap to open it and see it. I can tap the three dots at the top right here. And then on all of these, I can hit list and you'll be able to see the exact date and time that that was shared with you to see the most recent airdrop, whether it was a PDF, a zipped file, anything like that, an MP3, any of those. So that is for all of those files. But as I said, for photos and videos, it doesn't end up here. It actually ends up in your photos app. So I can open up the photos app here. And here is the photo that I just airdropped to myself. Now on here, it doesn't give me any indication that this was an airdrop. I can swipe up and get a bunch more information. But again, it doesn't show me that it's airdropped. Unfortunately for photos and videos, it just dumps them in here. And there's no real way to tell which one was most recent and which ones were airdropped versus ones you took in your camera or sent to you other ways through messages, emails, or any of that stuff. So you can just look through this list and see what you don't recognize, what you think is the newest, but unfortunately that's the best option you have for photos and videos. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.